In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure temperature and humidity with the AM2302 and a Raspberry Pi. Now the 2302 is actually a DHT22 sensor and it's wired and enclosed. And it's wired in with a 5.1K pull-up resistor. And I'll explain those in a later video. Um, it measures temperature and humidity. Humidity from 0 to 100% within 2 to 5% accuracy. And it reads your temperature from minus 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. And it's around 10 to $15. You might recognize this GPIO diagram from our earlier videos. And in this video, we're going to be wiring it as shown. We're going to put the red wire at pin 1, yellow wire at pin 7, and the black wire at pin 6. Let's get started. And here we have my Raspberry Pi wired up with the 2302. As I mentioned, we're using pins 1, 6, and 7. Now if this were just a DHT22 outside of the enclosure, I would probably have it on a breadboard because it's just a chip with a couple of pins and it requires that pull-up resistor that I mentioned earlier, which is a 5.1K resistor that goes between the red and the yellow wire. But in this case, it's all enclosed so we can just wire it direct. Okay, so I'm SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, and what I'm going to do is install some of the Adafruit libraries. These libraries are very helpful for reading the sensor, and one of the first things I will need to do is install git. So here I've typed in sudo apt-get install git. Now it shows me how much disk space will be used and if I want to continue, so I press Y for yes. Now that we have Git installed, we can clone the repo from the Adafruit GitHub page. But first, I want to create a folder for our projects. Now when I type in PWD, that stands for Print Working Directory. That shows the directory that we're in at the time. Right now it shows that we are in slash home slash pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory for projects. Okay, now I've created the projects directory and entered the directory. So now what I want to do is I want to clone the repo from the Adafruit library repo that's on GitHub. Now that we've cloned the repo, let's go into that folder. Now to install this library, we will need to fetch and install a few more dependencies. Here are the commands to do that. Now that we've updated everything, let's install our prerequisites. As you can see here, we're going to install our build essentials, Python dev, and Python open SSL. And you might want to sit tight because this is going to take a while. And now all our dependencies are installed. Now if you see an error that a package is already installed or at the latest version, don't worry about it. You can ignore it and move on. Now that we have all our prerequisites in place, we can actually install the library. And we will do that by typing sudo python setup.py install. Now all our dependencies are installed so we can start playing around with this sensor. Now I did go through that last bit kind of fast. So here's an explanation of all the commands that we just put in. We did a sudo apt-get install of git. Then we did a pwd to say print working directory, and in our case we were in slash home slash pi. Then we did a make dir of projects to create a project directory. We did a cd into that projects directory. Then we did a git clone of the Adafruit Python library for the DHT sensor. And then we did a cd into the Adafruit folder. We did a sudo apt-get update, and then sudo python setup.py dot install. And that's how we got all of the prerequisites installed for this program. Now that we have our libraries installed, we want to test the sensor to make sure that it's physically hooked up correctly and functioning correctly. And we can do that with the Adafruit Python libraries. The first thing we want to do is go into the examples folder. Now in here, I'm going to run one of the supplied Python scripts, and I'm going to point it to the 2302 sensor, and I'm going to set it to 4, which is the GPIO pin that we're connected to. 
Now, as you can see here, I'm calling that Adafruit DHT.py script with a 2302 to specify which sensor it is, and then 4 to specify which GPIO pin that it's wired to. And as you can see, we get a result in Celsius for the temperature and our humidity. So now that we know it's wired up correctly, in the next module, we're going to write some software to interact with that library. Now in this module, to get started with getting the temperature from the AM2302, we installed Git, we cloned a repository from Adafruit, we installed the prerequisite software, and then installed the Adafruit 2302 libraries. These libraries are going to be a base for the scripts that we're going to install in the next module, where we're going to read some of the temperature and humidity values and work with those values.